Hello. Hi. The back now. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi, Bailey. Hi, Avery. Hi, Emily. Hi, Flink. Hi, Balls. Uh, the 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 OBS crashed. <laughs> And then for his, and then I restarted the stream and then it started under a different name and then I restarted again and then it started members only. Seems fine now. I don't know why it happened. Uh, we are no longer live on Twitch. Rip to the one person probably watching on Twitch. <laughs> uh... Oh, okay, you saw him. So let me see how many streams there are now. Oh, there are many streams. There are four, in fact. Okay, let me remove the other ones. I don't know why that happened. This is a pretty fresh OBS install. One, two, three, more actions, delete forever, boom. Uh, I was streaming on Twitter as well. Normally I stream and kick too, like everything. I pay 20 bucks a month to do it. It normally works. It's not the scam OBS. <laughs> I've used this one for a while. I love this budget, it's so nice. It has everything I need. I have my computer. I have a bed. I used to not have a bed. A bed is quite a new... Or not kick. Or yes, kick. The other kick. Kick.com. I don't even know if it's working. Let me see if it even worked. Kick.com slash go herping. I don't think it even worked. <laughs> it said it was streaming, but I don't think it was. Uh, there's two kicks. They're both around though, but this is a different kick. Okay, gamers. No, it's a different kick. <laughs> it... <laughs> KIK is the app that you get groomed on. KICK is the app that you stream porn on or something. I don't know. Yeah, ASL. Okay. Uh, so, unfortunately, the chat... Okay, there we go. I'm using a different chat client. And now the names are green instead of blue, unfortunately. But... It do be like that sometimes. Anyway, what was I saying? I was answering a question which I will never remember what it was, so. Oh uh, well. Oh, let me change the music back. Funk. Funk. We're back. Oh, it's nighttime. And better than ever. Hello, Ackley. 2017. It's pre unboxing era. The calm before the storm. You got to witness. Oh, I'm good. Thank you for asking. Very good, in fact. Yes, I do have my headlights on. Oh, and they're off.
wrong chat on stream? Oh, wait, I have to manually change it for every source? That's weird. Thank you for telling me. We golden boys. Well, the garden was kind of dead for a while. I genuinely can't do it. Like, I genuinely can't go outside because the, of like one amp bite and I'm done. So, like, my my allergies are getting worse to, to literally everything. <laughs> I'm becoming allergic to the world right now. Fun fact. Maybe that'd be a good video title. Um. Yes, it is actually quite bad. Like, I ironically have to walk, like, I do not go anywhere without an EpiPen now. It's like, I'm actually scared. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I've not gone to an allergist. I already know I'm allergic to everything. Um, now I'm allergic to insects, basically. Um, so, yeah. Luckily, most of the time I enjoy spinning outside is like in motion on a bicycle or on a one wheel. So, yeah. I don't like seeing doctors. I'm not like anti doctor, but I don't have very good doctor experiences. Whoop. 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 Why did he slow down? I swear he slowed down. Um, also, that costs money, and I am trying to buy video games, actually. I just bought a Quest 3, if you didn't know, and <laughs> I actually have been waiting to get a cavity filled because I didn't want to pay for it, and then I ordered a game console. <laughs> but cavity fillings don't bring me happiness, but Facebook products do. Hello, Jack. It's your birthday. Are you, are you just Jack? I feel like you might just be Jack. Is Jack actually... Okay, now I regret saying it because he spammed it twice. I shouldn't have said it. Cut it. Cut it. <clears throat> I mean, I get being dismissive. I mean, I don't, but I'm trying to be sympathetic, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, I, it's one of those things I'll put off until I can't put it off anymore. So it'll get it'll get dealt with someday. Your grandma smells uh, damn good, Mason. I don't really have a scent, but I feel like maybe I should. As far as I know. Way station boys. Uh, no plushies. Plushies are very expensive. I don't have five grand to get plushies produced again. <laughs> Maybe someday. It would be cool. Um, yeah. I, eh. Okay, one thought at a time. It would be cool to get more plushies someday, but it'll be down. It'll be pretty far down the road due to financial reasons. Like it's insane that I was actually able to sell 500 plushies last time. I would need probably, and, and that was when I was getting maybe 1.5 million views a month, and I currently get a, a tenth of that. So right now I could probably sell 50 plushies, but I need a minimum of 500 to order. So. Uh, cologne guy, I actually like colognes on people, like colognes and perfumes. If they're very, if they're very um, not noticeable, as an Uber driver. <laughs> I prefer when people don't smell like shit, is what I'm trying to say. And look, as much as I would prefer... Oh, thanks for joining, Emily. <clears throat> as much as I would prefer you to 
just not smell like body odor. I do prefer when people cover body odor up with cologne over just being stinky, you know. Uh, other Emily is saying that I'm musty, but I'm not musty. <laughs> I smell quite neutral, in fact. I even put on deodorant before stream. That's how thoughtful I am of you. Uh, I don't think you, well, yes. Okay, you can change your natural scent. Like I changed the smell of my sweat through changing my diet. Um, Cause I was like, <laughs> man, I don't know if this is TMI, but like, my, like I would take a shower and wipe myself off like when I was a teenager. And it wasn't me being dirty. It was like I was fresh, and I, I wipe, I, I wipe, I wipe, I wipe, and uh, the towel smells kind of not fresh. And I'm like, I feel like it should smell fresh. So, yeah. Enough dietary changes, and I actually fixed it. Kind of like, okay. I think the reason I kind of am a little sketched by doctors is because I think they've only made my problems worse, in my experience. And I hate people that are like, I'm gonna go fix my problems myself or whatever. And because doctors don't know anything. No, doctors know a lot of stuff, but I'm just talking from personal experience. I think seeking out doctors is very pog of you. Some people are hard. Oh, okay, I can tell the difference. Like, guys, like, because I pick up a lot of, like, I will pick up four men from a construction site in July and they smell like mud, and I can smell them, but they just smell like guys that just got off a construction site, and that's fine. And they don't even leave a mess or anything. They're very respectful of everything. But then there's like this one one young feller who clearly just has not showered in two months. Like, I, you can tell the I got DoorDash before stream, actually. <laughs> oh, but if you mean driving, yeah, I don't drive for DoorDash anymore. Which is quite unfortunate, because those are the videos that did the best when it came to... Um... Wait, is chat dead on screen? Like, is it broken on screen, or is it just because... Did chat just pass away on stream? Chat has perished on the stream. What happened? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Uh, I actually, do you still not drink soda? I don't remember saying I'd stopped drinking soda. I actually don't drink cans anymore. Like, I still drink soda when I go out and get food, but I'm not like downing six to 12 sodas a day. It's more like one to three a day. I still have very sugary drinks. Like don't get me wrong, like I drink like two or three Powerades and I'll, I've been drinking some teas, which I add a lot of sugar. And I drink, um, I drink lots of like sugary things. So I'm not trying to cut down the sugar, but I really do feel better not drinking um, sodas. So I don't know if it's the corn syrup or the caffeine. I don't know, is it placebo? Ginger ale doesn't have caffeine, but if I drink like six ginger ales a day, I feel really sluggish. But if I drink some Powerades and some teas and then some water and some juices, I feel fine. But what's the difference between ginger ale and a bunch of other sugars? I actually don't know. But yes, I actually don't drink that much soda, relatively speaking. Uh, yeah, Dark Berry Dr. Pepper is it's still a great drink, but Dr. Pepper really does not make me feel good. Like, you know, um, it's like its own version of, of drinking alcohol. Like I feel hungover after drinking Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I don't know, but I can drink. Oh, that's highway patrol. Maybe it's the caffeine, but it happens with ginger ale too. Oh, tea has caffeine, but yeah, I'm fine drinking tea. I don't know. I do have a LaCroix on my desk as well. I'm, I'm double fisting a LaCroix and a Powerade. Uh, 
Oh yeah, well that was um, I was still drinking soda during that video. I just wasn't drinking caffeinated soda. Soda. So yeah, for a while I, I was drinking ca just caffeinated and then just uncaffeinated, and now I don't. Now I drink a mix of both, but not that much, basically. Yeah, maybe I'll do a summary to the heart video. Cause I think, cause I I think it's fifty fifty. My heart almost failed because of my doctor, and or because of emerald skins. I think but I think it was like fifty fifty stress and medication that my doctor gave me, and, I, and they worked together. And then I drank some alcohol, and it pushed me over the edge. Yeah. Kombucha is nasty though. Oh yeah, but now my heart's actually fine. Oh, and I, yeah, I, th I don't know. I think I fixed it basically by doing everything um, that my doctors didn't tell me to do. Like basically stress management and exercise. It's kind of it. Like that, like that's all I had to do was start exercising every day and then managing my stress every day. And now I'm like not dying anymore. <laughs> like I genuinely thought my heart was about to fail and I just had to Go outside, touch grass, and chill out. And just calm down, and you won't have heart failure, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So many people could have avoided heart attacks if they just chilled out for once. Gosh. I don't remember the medication name. Uh, but I was trying... He was... I wanted help increasing my appetite, and so he gave me something that would stimulate it. And it turns out the stimulant he gave me is also directly linked to heart problems. <laughs> and... Then I ended up in the hospital like a month after I started the medication, and also the medication didn't it didn't work. It just made me really thirsty. <laughs> I was drinking like a oh no that was my exit wasn't it? Yes it was. I was drinking like a gallon of water a day and I was not any thirsty. I'll play CS2 next stream. Uh, wait, what happened in regards to what video? Bro, I haven't made goddamn Reptile videos in like a year and a half. <laughs> Why are you still asking? It's been so long. It's been so long. <laughs> do, you, do you think I didn't account for the tens of thousands of dollars I was making? No. It, it, many things are not worth the money. <laughs> like, yes. It's not coming back. <laughs> anyway. I don't know why that's why you. I'm sorry, Jason. I'm sorry. It's just look. Every hundredth person that asks, I get a little. I have to answer it. every hundred. That's my that's my rule right now. Um, my oh no oh god it's dropping again. Are we about to fail? Is the stream about to end again? Why is this happening? Well, a little behind the scenes. Oh, wait. What's the wrong? Oh, dis di OBS hides itself. Never mind. I can't show you, but... No, not all things come to an end. All bad things hopefully come to an end. <laughs> it was a very bad thing. <laughs> I'm very glad it's over. Is it... <laughs> <sighs> OBS dropping frames can cause due to network connection issue. Let me do a stream speed test. Doing a speed test. Just let me know how it's been. I'm getting half a gigabyte down. Well, I guess the up is what's important. Video bitrate is at 6,000, which is always at. 
I'm streaming at 1440, which is native resolution to my monitor. Um, I'm running a stable version of OBS. Oh, I'm getting 11 up. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why am I getting 11 up? <laughs> Okay, I guess that's why, probably. God, I'm dropping 40% of frames. Oh. I'll check my task manager, why not? Oh, so that's fine. 11 megs, migs, meggies. Megas. Um, no, I'm not really running much. Everything's less than 50% usage. My ping was 46. No, idle latency is 46. Down, uh, ping, it doesn't say, it just says mega, me milliseconds. But it doesn't say how many. been a YouTube thing? Well, the, so it is happening within OBS. I'm transmitting 3,000 kilobytes per second. Um. Okay, so my ping is 42 milliseconds. Going up, we're up to 6,000 kilobytes per second. I promise if I... Ch oh, I could downscale it. I'll have to end the stream to downscale it, though. I might be able to end it... so I can see when it comes back. <clears throat> okay, so we're on the new stream. It's 1080 now. Basically, I'm willing to like ignore the problem if it's orange, because it's red, orange, green. It's gotta be at least orange for me to, oh, it's green, it's green, everyone. It's green now, I don't know why. <laughs> okay, well, we manifested it, everyone. Good job, keep on manifesting, boys. Keep doing what you're doing. Okay, so we're still at 6,000 kilobytes per second. So, okay, Ethan might've been right. Maybe 1440 is just a little overkill. It's just like, there is a, a depreciation of quality with streams versus, of course, recording. So it's more like 720. Oh, it's right again. Great. <sighs> I 
which one of you gosh darn no good doing little mini butts just manifested more lag on stream <laughs> it was one of you quality looks the same okay <laughs> that's funny Well, I might as well, I mean, you're not missing that much by me driving, so I'm just going to keep driving. <sighs> we went through all of this last year, and I figured out the, the issue, but I forgot <laughs> what the issue was. <laughs> I thought the issue was the wrong OBS version, but maybe that wasn't it. Maybe it was something else. Thank you, Janelle. Um, <laughs> yeah, but still, like, um, so for example, if I upload 4K and someone watches in 360p or whatever, the bitrate is still higher, I think. Because YouTube really compresses stuff a lot. Still showing that it's quite poor at the moment. Man, how did I fix it? I gotta manifest my memory to come back. Um, okay, it was dropping during PUBG. And I was so angry. <laughs> and I fixed it off stream. I'm just trying to remember the context so I can try and remember what else. Um... What else? I was playing PUBG, it kept dropping. I changed everything, I reinstalled. I can't remember what I did. Oh, that's good to hear, Gabriel. I appreciate that, because not many people <laughs> were a fan, so I'm glad that some people like them. I don't journal how I resolved the OBS. I guess I should start journaling everything, like external hard drive storage of my brain. Um. This is the best Wi-Fi we can get here. No, the Wi-Fi is fine though. It's not the Wi-Fi. It's, um, it's OBS for sure. I guess I could try to use a non-OBS, like Slobs, Streamlabs OBS. Yeah, uh, I still have that guy on PUBG. We haven't played recently. I played with him last, maybe a few months ago. But <laughs> he doesn't, he still doesn't know that I streamed. So maybe I'll finally tell him that we streamed it and ask if he wants to stream again. Uh, we've had a rocky relationship. <laughs> Which I never thought I'd say about someone I friended on PUBG, but we got into some arguments, <laughs> but it's all right just about gameplay though i like having certain people where like i don't know like it's only about the game it's nothing else i don't remember where he lived i think in vegas <laughs> it's like hard to get no we're just uh, we're not min maybe we're not made for each other I guess it'll be November. Or I don't know, it'll be whenever I fix OBS, I guess, again. Um, I'll mess with it later. Uh, 
Whoa. Oh. I can set up the like emergency brake somehow, but I don't remember how. Oh, we're here. Wait, where'd video chat go? I still see it. I see it in the preview, but not in the... Oh, it's back. Yeah, yeah, you remember all the details. Diluted bang with water. <laughs> I'm sad to say, I don't like bang anymore. I've moved on to G Fuel and... Bang just is not bussing like it used to be. It's just I think they have too much competition now. Like Bang tasted good when there was no competition. <clears throat> I'm not setting you up with one love. Also, I think he was. I don't know if he was married, but. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I troubleshooted everything before, like I did some test streams and stuff and it all worked fine. But of course, once you start actually streaming, it don't be like that and I'll do it. Where do they want this? Oh. Okay, this is actually easy peasy. Lemon breezy. Ten countries outside America. Mexico, Canada, the Bahamas, New Zealand, Australia, um, the United Kingdom, Egypt, Peru, Switzerland. I think that was ten. Now name all 50 states and all 45, six presidents. George Washington, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, James Monroe, John Quincy Adams, Andrew Jackson, Martin Van Buren, William Henry Harrison, John Tyler, James Polk, Zachary Taylor, William, William something, Franklin Pierce, James Buchanan, Abraham Lincoln, Andrew Johnson, Ulysses S. Grant, something Furby Hayes or something, James Garfield, Chester Arthur, Grover Cleveland, Benjamin Harrison, Grover Cleveland again, William McKinley, Theodore Roosevelt, William Taft, Woodrow Wilson. I'm getting stressed out. I really want to remember them all. Uh, something Hardy? Calvin Coolidge, Herbert Hoover. Theodore Roosevelt. <laughs> I don't remember who's after Theodore Roosevelt. I feel like it should be easier as I get later, like more recent. So I'll just skip to Bush, W. Bush, Trump, and Biden, because I don't remember the others. <laughs> um, I, know, I don't know. I definitely know more about the US than the rest of the world. I also don't know the importance of knowing most of the presidents, but wait, also there's, I don't think there's 40, wasn't Trump the 45th? Did I miss an election? Oh, I forgot Clinton. I mean, <laughs> kind of, I did not forget Obama. I said Bush, I thought I said Bush, W. Bush, Obama, Trump, Biden. Did I forget Obama? <laughs> Oh, we get to upgrade. Why did I upgrade everything? Okay, I do have this habit of when I upgrade stuff, I just go one column at a time. 
Yeah, I'll just do that. Mom, no. So how terrible is the stream connection right now? Is it even watchable? It's been red this whole time. Current bitrate is lower than the recommended bitrate. What's the recommended? YouTube. 900... 9,500. And I'm doing 6,000. Well, I could change it, but then we're going to lose connection. Okay, it's fine. I do know all the states. Those are easy, though. Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin, Wyoming. That's all I got. I have no other... That's, that's as far as my knowledge goes in life, unfortunately. The most useless information. <laughs> that was not on my GED, I don't think. The GED, I don't even remember what was on it. Uh, it was it was mostly math and reading comprehension, I think. But it was like multiplication and division. Like that was the hardest math, was division. And then the reading comprehension was like, Susie, it was like fourth grade level. <laughs> the GED, I did not study for it and I passed on the first try. So that tells you how hard it is. <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of, um, my conclusion after taking it is it's not about being knowledgeable. It's about proving that you are at least not lazy and you you have enough motivation to at least show up at a college and fill out a I did it on a computer, but fill out some answers. It's not so much about whether you're knowledgeable or not. Um, so I don't really know why it's a thing, but I mean you can do practice tests online, like <laughs> the practice test is probably the exact same questions. <laughs> oh, wait, are you asking what I studied or what someone else studied? No one left behind made it easy. But I hear of people failing GEDs. Are you allowed to um, use a calculator? I can't remember. Or maybe you're allowed to use paper? I had my phone with me though. And I, don't, I feel like they weren't really monitoring us. No, I still have the red card. If you want the Subaru, I will sell it. I'll be very sad, but I'll sell it. Uh, there is no force feedback in American Truck Sim. I mean, like there's a little bit. Like, I feel it just slightly. It's the lightest amount, though. But I think that's how it's supposed to be. It definitely doesn't feel like other games. Like, I can do it with my pinky, and it's like, whatever. Oh, they do a lot of calculator. Okay. I mean, that's how school should be, right? Um, yes, I'm aggressively asexual. I hate the S word. Because, I don't know. I was always fine at applying formulas. I just couldn't remember the gosh darn formula. And apparently I get to have to go to the office if the formula just happens to show up on my shoe somehow. Yeah, I don't know. I, yeah. I used to be self-conscious in glasses, and then I wasn't, and now I am again because everyone, because <laughs> everyone that sees me in, gla in my newest glasses are like, have you ever considered contacts? <laughs> Do you know how many people have asked me if I considered contacts in the last couple months of making any new glasses? <laughs> everyone, <laughs> everyone that's seen me is like, have you considered contacts? No, I mean, yes, but I'm not gonna use contacts. The 
so many formulas and all the puddles at school. <laughs> Save the clip of me. Uh, well, this, the stream will be up, so you can go back to it. The thing about contact is, so, like, I, I, yes, I, minimalism, whatever, nobody cares about minimalism, but I do, like, minimizing the amount of things I need to do, and so I was like, okay, well, contacts would really work into my minimalist, like, style I'm going for, like, black shirt, black pants, black socks, whatever. My underwear's colored, though. I have colorful underwear. Um, and so I was like, okay, contacts could really play into that, but contacts are not minimalist in the, uh, uh, um, maintenance aspect. Like, I just throw my glasses and I wipe those sometimes. But contacts, it feels like it takes a bunch of extra steps. And I'm definitely going to sleep in them. Like, there's no doubt about it, because I just fall asleep everywhere. So, I don't know. Do I submit to... Do I submit to people saying my glasses look bad and get new ones, or do I just deal with it? I don't know. I think they're okay. Like, I think they look nice to look through, because my last glasses were kind of smaller, and so there's like, you can see it. They're comfortable. They slide on my face a little bit, but I don't know. Whatever. I have bigger fish to fry. Bigger fish to pick. I mean, bigger fish to frick is what I was going to say. <laughs> I am wearing pants today, which is quite rare for stream. Just assert dominance, be ugly. <laughs> Uh, oh, no, I'm nearsighted, so I don't need lenses in my quest, luckily. I, I used to be sad that I was nearsighted, or far, yeah, nearsighted. I used to want to switch it, but now I'm actually grateful that it's the way it is. Though, I guess when old age hits, because my, like, everyone gets, loses their nearsightedness, I guess. I have been able to tell, okay, I'm not, I'm not old yet, but I can tell the slightest difference when I like put something up to my face. Like I can't focus on it the way, I, like as a kid, I could like have something right there and just see it fine. I can no longer do that. So I guess it's very gradual. Yeah, I'm painting with uh, pedals. Um, yeah. Where's my horn? Why are they in the fast lane? I got flipped off by two people at the same time a couple days ago while driving. I had never gotten fl I, I get fl Apparently most people don't get flipped off while driving, but I, two people at once, that was a new record. It was, they deserved, I mean, they were the problem though. Trust me, bro. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> I was, well, I was honking at them like this. <laughs> uh, it, we were at a an intersection. We had the right of way. They were trying to let a car go. And I was like, D stop letting the car go. We have the right of way. And so I started honking at, at both of them. Uh, they didn't go. So I zipped around them in front of them, which they got upset by. Um, and then at the next light, I got into the right lane because I thought it'd be faster. And then the light turns green and then we go. And I'm like, oh, it's slower. So I. I purposely cut them off like really hard, but I was like, whatever, they're already stupid and they already hate me. And then they both flipped me off and they went fast. <laughs> so now we're going to go for three next I, When I Uber tonight, I'm going to go for three in a row. We're just going to see what we can do. <laughs> no, I think it's usually mutual. Kind of like there's a, an inner, a four way, uh, four way stop sign by my house. And, um, people sometimes stop at it like I don't because it's totally clear you can see everything you can totally see cars coming 
Um, so it's like you go through 30, 40 miles an hour maybe. And but me and another car just weren't paying attention because it was like 3 a.m. And we both almost hit each like we both ignored the stop sign and we both went and we both slammed on brakes and it was both our fault and neither of us <laughs> like we just kind of like kind of gave it a little smirky worky uh and we weren't angry at each other because we were both being silly boobies. so i like the ones where it's like mutual like oh we were both silly let's go on with our lives as if that never happened i don't drive a priest you mean a prius I want the new Prius. I, okay, straight piped Priuses I think sound really cool and I would love to straight pipe the new Prius. Um, if I had like whistling diesel money, that's what my first purchase would be is a straight piped 2024 Prius. Uh, the dog video actually did kind of well, relatively speaking. I still... In, okay, so like, there was a comment just before I started streaming, like, you don't hate dogs, you're afraid of them. No, I'm not afraid of dogs, I hate them. <laughs> They're like, you just need to understand that there's nothing to be scared of. No, I hate them because they attack me and my animals. Like, I don't... I'm not scared of them. I think fear... I, I think the fear would be, like, an unjustified fear. They're actually not going to hurt me. No, they actually hurt me. <laughs> so, of course I'm going <laughs> to... Uh, but no, I got the sentiment people were saying of like, you just don't understand them. And it's, it's, there's no bad dogs, just bad owners. But no, there's bad owners and bad dogs. But no, I like the Zuri, the dog in the video. Yeah, how important is tuning cars? I was thinking about, because the Subaru is not straight piped. It has an uneven catted header, but it's not tuned to it. <laughs> so like how much power am I losing out on because it's not tuned? <laughs> it has it a stock uh, factory tune with JDL. Did I already say JDL? Apparently it's the connection's fine right now. Yeah, but I guess I sh should tune it, <laughs> right? Eventually, I probably should. It's because the Prius looks- literally, just look at it, okay? Okay, I didn't know it would link to iFunny. I don't want to open iFunny on stream. <laughs> Wait, let me just make sure it's okay, it shows up. Okay, this is actually fine. Uh, look, obviously this is a modified Prius. Like, this is just a render or whatever. Look at it! I would love to drive this. It looks so good. I'm so scared it's gonna, like, just suddenly play something that it shouldn't. That's nice! And I've seen them on the road. They're like, you could actually make it look like this with not much effort. Look at it! Anyway, yeah, that's all. Wasted potential. No, I think it's cool. I like. I get they could have used that design for like a, a more performance-oriented car. I don't like when people dumb down car designs just because like, well, it's the. I don't know. Oh, we're going fast past that cup. Um, trying to give an example. I don't know. Like a Corolla looks soft and squishy next to a Camaro. Wait, Camaros are not Toyota. What are the Toyotas uh, sports cars? Uh, 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 I was going to say next to a Supra. I don't really like the Supras. I don't know. I think it's cool to make all cars look cool. I like where car designs are headed. Oh, the design. Oh, the tuning is wasted potential. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Um, yeah. Because it's definitely quicker with... Um, with the headers. With, with the stock header, it was slower than every car. But with the JDL headers, it's faster than every normal car and slower than every sports car. 
which is like it's fine it's like the slowest sports car basically and i'm like it's great for me but it would be cool to have a little more I think I'll only end up with a dog is if, if if I'm with someone that really wants a dog. But I'm not picking up after that. <laughs> I can't drive Dodges. I can't see it. I can't see out of Dodge Chargers. They're too big. <laughs> I'm too short to see over the dashboard of Dodge Chargers. I need tiny cars. <laughs> Or just really big cars, because then the big cars have like really high seats, like trucks. I actually don't remember the question I'm ignoring. It was an accident, Howell, don't worry about it. We had a little crisis moment. <laughs> Did it wait? So did it work? When you look up my height, does it say six five yet? Because I was trying to like do a thing. No, it doesn't come up yet, but we're manifesting six foot five on here. We'll keep trying. Apparently I'm 20 years old. Good to know. <laughs> Manifest in sight. Five and 20 years old. Let's go, Herpin, everyone. Uh, okay, we're good on gas. And we're good on sleep. But we will need both before this ends, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, my okay. So Ethan, I guess to test your feedback, if if it works, just take a really hard turn to the left and see if it vibrates. <laughs> like sinking into my chair. Everyone keeps saying that my driving position is really weird in cars. I'm just getting judged left and right. <laughs> I finally go touch grass and interact with people IRL, and I'm like, wow, they'll finally stop harassing me over little things on the internet. And no, they just do it in person. <laughs> uh, I don't know what it's like. Everything about the streamer bag works, except for the TTS alerts. Um, yeah, that's it. Aside from that, it's just the fact it's so expensive to run every month. It's five fifty a month, about. I can get it down a little, maybe like five hundred for four seventy five, if I use some some different uh, software. But it's at least a hundred bucks a week, basically. Oh, that keeps scaring me. Do people actually use this, or is this just like a to get cinematic shots? No, oh, yeah, just for cinematic shots. Road safety is no accident.
Okay, uh, we'll get off at the next intersection, I think. Take a little breather for some sleep. Or... I've got places to be. Yeah, I don't really pay attention to places to be. I think it's more profitable to just get speeding tickets and go faster <laughs> than it is to slow down. <laughs> Though I do like taking it seriously, which, I mean, this is how I would drive a truck IRL, so. Ooh, water. Oh, rest area. Man, it is really... I'm not quite as good at driving trucks as I thought. I'm going... I missed the exit. <laughs> I've done this IRL as well, but, you know, not in a truck. Well, I think we can just turn around, actually. Let's see. Shut up. I hate super drivers. They're about to kill In Minecraft. It's truly a miracle that my insurance is 120 a month. <laughs> I don't know how that how that is. We did it, everyone. Woo. I mostly wanted to see if I could back that up. Uh, verdict, I could not. Uh, for both, it's one, 190. There's not many cars. They're all kind of the same five. There's an audio in this Nissan. Toyota. I don't know if that one is. I don't think there's... I don't think any vehicle has actually a trash... Like a blank driver. Kind of like the BMW turn signal thing. I've never actually noticed that. I know it's just a meme, but like where did that even originate from? Um... The thing about Tesla drivers is like... I used to wave at all of them because like, Hey, fellow driver. Uh, they're all on their phone. Like, that's a thing. Like, every Tesla driver just texts and drives the whole time. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other true ones. Dodge Charger drivers are very angry if they lose races, so I don't recommend racing Dodge Chargers. Oh, wait, we gotta park in the spot, of course. I'm just on the wrong side. Um, I mean, F-150... It was someone on the server was talking about white truck driver, Like, white... The trucks are like white trucks. Drivers of white trucks. Kind of suck. Which is true. Can I park anywhere? I, th I thought I'd, I'd have to see like a pop up. Oh, I can park anywhere. I wow. I feel guilty parking in these, in a sedan, like when I'm traveling, but no one's ever complained. Two dollars from hey, Ethan. Yo. Our first two dollars. Also friendship payment, because <laughs> I forgot last stream. Can't wait for the Quest 3 unboxing. Ha ha. Oh, thank you, Ethan. I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess hasn't been the, I actually haven't noticed, it hasn't been the most super chatty of streams, but. Luckily, I, I don't have to worry about it as much. It's quite nice not streaming as a job, I will say. 
Yeah, I think I'll, I'll, I'll do the quest on stream, I guess. Well, at least on Discord. Should I do Discord or stream? Or member stream, I don't know. I am a little racist towards just general pickup trucks, which I don't want to be, but they do get a little combative with me sometimes. NC did ban squatted trucks, but there's no less squatted trucks. I don't really... I understand why squatted trucks were banned, because you can't really see. But I do not like modifications being banned. In general. It, it doesn't stop anyone, it just makes it more difficult to get around them. It's, <laughs> Look, I like certain car mods. I don't want my mods to be banned. I'd be upset if I had a squatted truck. <laughs> um, it doesn't stop people from doing them. It just makes you get inspections in sketchier ways. And like a squatted trucks, all you have to do is put the truck on bags. And then you're good. You have air suspension. You just bring it up and down. You see a cop, you go back down. A cop goes away, boop, you go back up. And then you hit run over a child. Really, I guess the squatted truck concern is like running over people, which is understandable. Oh, also here's the dollar from PayPal, LOL. We should do Discord members stream. Um, yeah, I'll, okay. I'll see how I'm feeling. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe boop. I'll unbox it twice. And thank you. Mine isn't very modified. The Tesla, the reason the Tesla is, a, well, the Tesla used to be murdered out. Uh, so my taillights were tinted black, <laughs> which doesn't, you can't really get black taillights inspected and also all the reflectors are blacked out. That's about it for the Tesla. Um, the Subaru is just very dark tint is why it doesn't, oh, and the taillights are also illegal. And then headers, exhaust, as JDL headers, parent exhaust. Uh, it has some small things inside, like the shifter knob is aluminum, which is a pain because it gets hot in the summer. Uh, it has a subwoofer, aftermarket subwoofer. It's just little things. I really don't care about mods. I bought it with almost all the mods it has. I just want to become a good driver with it. But yeah, the reason it didn't pass inspection was tint and the taillights. Um, the only thing I want to do to it is vinyl wrap it and get different taillights because I don't like the ones the previous owner installed. They look like Lamborghini, like. Aventador taillights, which is super cringe. And I, yes, the car is cringe. Like, it's gonna be even more cringe soon once I get a wrap on it, but. Okay, here's a question. Should I wrap it a solid, ridiculous color, or should I do a Natasha on it? Because I don't really watch anime, so if I do a Natasha, it'll probably be a Studio Ghibli Natasha, which I've never seen in person. But I can't tell if I'm forcing a Natasha just because it's a Japanese car, because I wouldn't usually Natasha cars. I'm just gonna talk to you like this now. Wait for me so we can both unbox at the same time. Okay. Well, yeah, so you're getting the Quest 3 also on the 10th still? Oh, Atasha is, um. I'll show some. It's just a car vinyl wrapped with anime. $2 from Kathamei. Discord members stream vote number two. Kate them Lee. Thank you, Kate them Lee and Ethan. Um, it's just like these. Um, I would, eh, I would, I'm, I'm being careful scrolling through these because I don't know if there's going to be any lewd ones or not. I think they'd be marked NSFW. Uh, let's sort by top. Wait, what did Ketham Lee say? Oh, Discord. Yeah, okay, something like uh, like this one, but like Ghibli probably with like a base, a base like neon yellow or like slate gray. Yeah, I, uh, 
There's one I want to do. I, I can't show it on stream, the one I want to do. I think the stream might get removed, but <laughs> I really like it. But most of them, it's nice because most of them are totally custom and unique. Um, I mean, like, this is real, like, this is an actual, they actually wrapped the military child. Like, this is, this is cool. But I feel like it's disingenuous for me to do that because it's just not really something I'm, I don't know. I just don't really care about, like, I don't care about Japanese culture that much. <laughs> Why do I have to do a U-turn? Oh, because I did the exit. But thank you, Kristen. Um, yeah, we can unbox at the same time if yours arrives on the 10th. I don't want to wait till after the 10th. <laughs> Assuming mine shows up. I have to go to Best Buy, though. Wow, that was actually okay. Oh, uh, yeah, it, it's just a car with Japanese things on it. I don't know why it's called a Tush. Two dollars from Ethan. It still hasn't shipped, but the meta site says I'm getting it on the 10th. I'm out of checking account money now, so this is my last one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love people spending their life savings on me. How would it get to, I would be, okay, I'm going to be surprised if it arrives on the 10th. Because if I ordered it to my house, it would have been the 17th. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. See a flavy, flabby. Flav. Oh, I forgot to get gas. Yeah, just because I don't watch... Well, in the words of my sister on that video, you look like you'd watch anime. So I guess I look like I would drive the car. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. The other reason I wouldn't want to do a Tasha is because this car would be kind of a, a model for people to see that want their car wrapped. And I'm not going to do a Tasha wraps, most likely, because I don't have a... I wouldn't get a printer right off the bat. Why is there a cop? Okay, it looks like they're both yielding to me just because I'm being kind of not a good driver. I just can't decide what color to do. Oh yeah, if anyone in Raleigh knows uh, is good with body work, let me know. I need someone that I can give money to to take the car apart and then put it back together after I wrap it, please. Thank you. Like 500 a car maybe, something like that. Um, nobody else wants that kind of app. You'd be surprised at the, the requests people have had. High smile. Hello, Raptorial. Thank you. The three bucks. Raptorial. Uh, yeah, most people in the area want solid wraps. So this guy that wants... That's a long Two dollars from Ethan. Screw it. I took some money from savings. Stop. For some reason, things ship really fast to my house, so I wouldn't be surprised if it arrives on time if it ships today. I looked it up on Reddit and no one else has notifications that theirs has shipped either. Yeah, but they don't ship Sunday. It would, so it would ship tomorrow and it would have to be overnight shipping. But would they really do that for a... Maybe they would. I don't know. I guess I could see it, it could be worth them taking the loss on overnight... And plus, they got a bulk label, of course. Just so that everyone gets it on the same day and is very happy and spends more money. Well, okay. I mean, the Quest 2, surely that was a loss on the headset because they just made money from the games. Kind of like um, printers. Like you, companies lose money selling the printer and they make the money selling the ink. So I could see it. Hopefully you're right. And thank you. Oh, the music stopped. Wait, is it Columbus Day tomorrow? It better not be a gosh darn holiday tomorrow. I want to take people to work <laughs> for Uber. 
I am going to do some Chris, like not on Christmas, but I'm curious to do some airport Ubering in December. I'm excited because I started in January, so I get to see like people. Have, yeah, I like Ubering people traveling. It's fun to hear. Like there was this guy from the Netherlands. Um. Three dollars from Kthamayi. I refuse to go like, broke for the herpes man, unlike Ethan. <laughs> Thank you, Ketham Lee. Um. I was Ubering him to the <laughs> to his he ordered a Turo car, which is like a rental car, but from a random person. Um He put the wrong address in. Five dollars from Jasmine. Cat made Five streamer. Dollar. I was thinking I wanted like a big goal for a thousand members, and I I feel like Cat Made Stream would be a good one. But is that over an uh, anticlimactic? Or that anti cat ant ant should I do campaign stream at a thousand members? Are we ever gonna hit a thousand members? Probably not. Two dollars from Ethan. Okay, last message now. I will do the body work and tuning. Lola, lola. I think everyone who ordered the five hundred and twelve gigabytes version overpaid, so Meta can afford the overnight shipping if that's what they're doing. It was their <laughs> master plan, lol. Lovely, funny. Yeah, it's interesting that it's one twenty-eight and five twelve. It's such a weird amount. Like, my assumption is they just were hoping nobody would buy the 128, but they can still mark it as starts at 499. Because I got the 128. And so far, I don't regret it, even though I don't have it yet. I don't know how to do this. Um. Uh. I was answering another question. Oh, yeah, Cat Made Stream. Yeah, maybe 500 members? For cat made stream i think 500. how should i do this oh i was talking about the netherlands guy he ordered a turo but he put the wrong address in and he was like yeah i was gonna just take public transit to go pick this up and i was like what are you talking about and he's like i was just gonna find a bus and i was like <laughs> <laughs> you're in america we don't have that he, so he was like well if i couldn't find out, i was just gonna walk and so he was gonna walk like 18 miles down a back road through the woods <laughs> to get to his turo car but luckily he ordered four dollars from an Femini. uber slowly increasing how much i send also stupid eye voice it's kate on me that's a good ai voice i like this one um she has an accent <laughs> Current games I like to live. Wait, you I have some words cut off. You'd like to live stream? Uh, I'll, I will live stream CS2 out of curiosity. I've never really played CSGO. And also, thank you, Kate, Tommy. Two dollars from two Sayakas. I stole another message from Ethan. What a devious devil I am. <laughs> thank you, Sayakas. Keep it up. Uh, I don't play Sims. Okay, I think we got it now. Oh, but yeah, he was cool. We talked about round roundabouts. That's about it. He was actually kind of boring. Sorry, Netherlands fella. Yeah, he would have died on that road. Oh yeah, but he also he put the wrong address in. He didn't know how. I've played Sims. I, that's not really my kind of game. Um, he didn't know how Uber works. He he sat in the front of the car, which I don't mind. So I kind of I was like, next Uber, don't sit in the front. But he also just expected me to drive him for free, to the wrong address, like to the right address after fixing it, and I did just because I'm such a nice feller. I don't know why I did. I, I liked him. Like, he was having some trouble, whatever. It was like $5 or whatever. But, you know, that's why I, that's why I like the airport runs, because I get all these weird foreigners. Yes, my DoorDash has been covered. Thank you. Uh, I'm actually not DoorDashing tonight. Thank you very much. I am Ubering tonight. 
Order some Uber. <laughs> Order Uber Green and you might... Oh, this is kind of... It's... I don't really have any interesting Uber tidbits. Like, yeah, I have stories, but I don't know. There's... They're kind of, like, mildly interesting. But people <laughs> keep ordering um, Uber Greens. And I was, like, so surprised someone ordered Uber Green, which is special requesting an electric car. And I just... Re it was, like, a bad offer, but I accepted just so I could be, like, hey, my first Uber Green. And she's like, what's that? And I told her what it is. And she's like, oh, that's why it took so long. And so I got two more Uber Greens after that. And they all ordered Uber Green by mistake. And they were, because, yeah, I don't know. It's not that interesting. I just thought it was funny. Because then I realized what was happening, and I would act like they definitely knew what Uber Green was. And I was like, hey, congratulations, you got Uber Green. Cool, good pick. And I'm a very boring Uber driver. I don't know. I don't know uh, how to get this in place. I have not mod. I would like to mod some more games. I will finish Stray. So yeah, today's stream was going to be finishing Lego Star Wars, but my controller wasn't working. Okay. I think we're good now. Uh, and then I'll finish Stray. I would like to replay Detroit Become Human. It's just kind of emotionally taxing. <laughs> so you know. The Minecraft server kind of went downhill ever since Hitler showed up. It's just... I... I have a plan for moderation. Like, we already have a plan on how to do it. I just haven't yet. Okay, which way do I need to turn the wheels? This way. Yes. Two dollars from Raptorial. Ha 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 ha, I hope he's man drive truck smile. <laughs> I like that TTS ha ha sound. Thank you, Raptorial. God, now I'm next to it. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, it's Sunday. I was gonna, actually going to get Chick-fil-A. I just realized it's Sunday. Because, <laughs> yeah, it, by my starting point, there's a Chick-fil-A I go to every day. Six dollars from the May. Last one. Here's your twenty dollars for the stream. Man, twenty dollars. Why, thank you, Chris. I, I appreciate that. I like how it went up one dollar each time. Um... Yeah, because, like, sometimes I'll, I'll go right before Chick-fil-A closes and I'll get dinner and then I, like, work till Chick-fil-A opens at 6 a.m. and then I go back in and get breakfast. Because it's, it's at a charging station, so it's, like, super convenient. God, God. Okay, let me go to the right, I guess. Hmm. <sighs> Also, Chick-fil-A isn't closed on Sundays for Christianity purposes. It's just, um, because when Chick-fil-A started, they only had one staff team, and they wanted one day off at least, so they just picked Sunday because they were like, it makes sense. But, I mean, I guess they picked Sunday because I don't think they necessarily picked it because of church, but I don't know. Okay, I want to give up. <laughs> I don't know how to do this one. Unedited Lady Trouble content. Oh, the Girlfriend series. I don't know how hard to push the whole Girlfriend thing. Because it basically it worked really well for the first video. Like, I'm tired of being lonely and single. Like, the, that title nailed it. Um, okay, finally. Like, would it be entertaining to really milk the relationship part? Not even milk, just like actually go through with it. I can't tell. I don't know. Let me check our time. 6.52. Okay, I'll do one more. And I'll play something different wait I think I have a playlist hmm 
Yes, I do. I'm so prepared. Yeah, I think it's a good running guy. So I think what I didn't make clear enough is each video was supposed to like work towards. So each video had an intro and I ended up cutting out all the intros just to, to you know, make it snappier. People's attention spans, whatever. Um, try to type with my left hand. So, <clears throat> this one obviously, girlfriend. And then this one was like, oh, getting better clothes for my future girlfriend. Going and herping was not related. And then Psychic Fix Love Life. Okay, they actually all, yeah, never mind. It was pretty self explanatory, actually. I didn't need to, never mind. <laughs> I think we've only had one. Okay, I'll do two. Fifty bucks a mile, holy. I do not make fifty bucks a mile on Uber. I make seventy-five cents a mile on Uber. That's on purpose though. You can Oh, so are you a Patreon user, Gordy? I didn't realize you. Filthy patron. Becoming normal series. Yeah, it's kind of supposed to be like, it starts with the girlfriend and then it's like, oh, it's actually just a self-improvement series. Well, an incendium style video. <laughs> I manifest every day, every day, every waking hour, I'm manifesting in Sidium's next video. Oh, it's not looking good for the shipping date. <laughs> well, uh oh. <laughs> Wait, what about like the Best Buy pickups? Do you think that's also gonna be delayed? Cause are they already, at, if they're not at Best Buy right now, they're not arriving by Tuesday, surely. But why would they already be at Best Buy? Uh. Yeah, I definitely, I think I'm going to go hard on trying to find someone to partner with to produce other content elsewhere to pay the bills and stuff. And yeah, and try and focus mine on. But then on the other end, I'm like, uh, I kind of want to try uploading daily for like a few weeks. Which is like random stuff. I don't know, man. I don't want to muddy all my uploads of with like mediocre stuff, but admittedly people the mass, not you people, but the mass majority of YouTube just likes watching mediocre stuff that's more frequent. I don't know. I think the best key, as Gary Vaynerchuk has always said, just post. Don't think, just post. Pretty much. That's not what he said word for word, but... I do take that to heart to an extent. Perfectionism is very bad for YouTube. I will, okay, so I, while I will not partner with anyone for an OnlyFans, I was wondering, it's like, okay, I start producing content with people. If someone comes along and is like, can you produce OnlyFans for me? I was like, would I do that? Like, ooh. And to be clear, that would just be me uh, doing what I would with a YouTube channel, not being involved. And I was like, what? Because like, it probably would kind of pay. Like, if they need someone to, to shoot, edit, whatever. <laughs> like, what? I don't know. <laughs> I'm genuinely not sure. I, My hesitation is, think about the taste it could leave in people's mouths if it's like, I, I, I help produce that kind of thing. 
I don't think it would attract the kind of people I want to be surrounded by. So when I wouldn't really have a problem actually doing it, doing the work of like helping them monetize, helping advertise, because I'm like, I think I'm pretty good at advertising and stuff. So it's like, okay, I, I'd help do advertising. But then if someone asks what I do, I don't want to have to have another job that I want to keep secret. So I don't know. I think it would depend. <laughs> no, my point is, because like this, mm, the most realistic thing that would happen is I help produce someone else's live stream. And what do a lot of Twitch streamers do? They end up making an OnlyFans. So if they end up making an OnlyFans, would I like stop working? Would I would I help? Would I encourage? Um, it's just it would go down a rabbit hole of not enjoying it, because I want to enjoy my job and I would not enjoy that. It would just be like, oh god. Um, I want to kind of enjoy my work. Yeah, but, yeah, I don't know. Just because I do actually see it realistically coming up if I start um, helping people create stuff. But this is, <laughs> for reference, this is unrelated to the Go Herping Corporation and everything. This is separate from my brand. Uh, I would just be, yeah, consulting on this. But I'm actually going to get some business, some business cards for the Uber, because I have... I, so yesterday I started pitching people, like really, I did such a good job sliding the pitch in, like they generally could not tell it was a pitch, like they didn't feel like they were being sold to. They still gave me five stars, they still gave me a tip, but I was actually just picking them up to pitch to them, and it worked. <laughs> One guy's actually interested. Um, who knows if he'll come through, but I'm like, okay, that's actually a good start, so I need some business cards. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like TikTok AI streaming. Yeah, I'll help them. I'll give them. I'll give them the gear, the lighting. The idea is I bring them the tools and some of the know-how, and they bring the content, basically. So yeah, if they want to stand there and do some AI streams, they can do it in my like in the studio that helped build out and stuff. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna be the I'm not gonna be the customer support guy for their sales. the content guy. Though I would like to help people with merchandise. Because I feel like I've done like every avenue of YouTube merchandise pretty much. Like I have shirts, like I ha handmade and hand produced shirts and hoodies and then produced plus So like I've done Chinese manufacturing, I've done in-house manufacturing, I've done within the United States manufacturing, I've done the fulfillment and the um, and I think it's really fun. I really enjoy uh, e-commerce. So. See, luckily, at least I'm excited about it, whatever it may bring. I don't... You said per what percentage for kickback? The thing is, is like, I might as well talk about this, because I'm self-conscious this is boring, but whatever. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to do just like hourly rates from the work because a i like passive income like i'd rather not make anything for a few years and then make more and b i don't know if i could produce another successful channel who knows um and so yeah that's why i feel like owning a percentage is better or at least getting a percentage of the profits um <clears throat> but then the issue there is i like i know how dedicated i am to a project which is too dedicated but then if I get someone that's like some 20 year old or some 18 year old that's like ready to just ha like, oh, I like the idea of being a YouTuber or a Twitch streamer and they just like half ass it. But then I'm putting in all this work and energy like I wouldn't be putting in much money because I already have pretty much all the gear. It would just be my energy and time. But then if they don't put the effort in, so if we both put in equal effort and it fails and we make zero dollars, it's like, okay, well, whatever. But if I put in effort and they're not trying and then I'm like having to carry them, well, that sucks. But usually with with percentage splits, I pretty much always do 65-35 where I would be 35. So that's like my general. Um, like with Emerald Scales partners, it was 65-35 and yeah. 
with some videos I've had editing, like I'll do like a 30% bonus or whatever. Yeah, hourly. Okay, not even hourly, but like um, per thing. Like, okay, you need to produce a video. Here's my day rate. I'll do everything. I'll shoot it. I'll edit it. I'll do the metadata. I'll push it out. It's 500 bucks, whatever. But even though, like, yes, what I'm doing could easily be worth 500 that video could make $10,000. That video could make $5. Like, who knows? So it just wouldn't be fair. I don't know. I'm trying to find a genuinely fair way to do it. And you said contracts. I'm really bad at contracts. I hate doing contracts. I always do stuff just... Just trust. Uh, which I know isn't good so yes like i just want to produce content i don't want to have to oh, that looks like a rally cup i don't want that's not even a cup oh it is a cup why do you cut me off um yeah you said contract work for flat rate i think i'll try a little bit of everything so yeah i'll, I'll start as soon as i can find someone so we'll see and i will document the process because a that's content for me <laughs> and b they'd get free advertising enjoy your bath gabriel bath king fellow bath king wait i watch streams in the bath i'm just saying hello little boo oh per job i see what you're saying <clears throat> oh, but someone else said make sure you get a contract. I think. Or maybe I read it wrong. Probably both. Because, yeah, I don't... If I can't find anyone, I have some... So, you know, like, faceless channels? I have some faceless channel ideas. Or, where's just someone else's face? that I like hire out myself. Um, but I don't like that as much because I do think the genuine personality is the most important, not the most important part of a YouTube channel, but it's one of the like cheat codes is having a genuinely genuine personality. And so finding someone with that who just needs some help along the way is what I'd prefer basically compared to like channels where they just hire someone. I don't, I don't like the disingenuous. Okay, here someone was asking if I'm like taking Lorenzo's advice to heart. I'm really taking them to create meaningful content to heart. So even if the content's not meaningful to me, I want the content to be meaningful to someone, <laughs> I guess. Like, even just this stream is like, th this stream is considered meaningful to me. Not most people, but it is to me and maybe some of you watching. My recent videos are super meaningful. Um, yeah, so... Oh god, I shouldn't have said that yet. <laughs> Thank you, Gordy. I'm not driving very fuel efficiently. Because it's like, I don't know, I have the space, I have the... Yeah. Yeah, I was on Ethan's uh, other, not the Ethan in chat, but the Ethan that started Emerald Skills with me. I was on his Instagram story, and immediately people just responded, hey, your boyfriend's back. <laughs> so, yeah, it has not been dropped after seven years, eight years. Okay, I'm getting gas. I'd actually be okay with my next relationship being a tiny bit on camera. Like, not, um, <laughs> not, like, vlogging about it, but, like, it'll be fine if she shows up. Um, I think it's a balance, though. <laughs> Don't produce OnlyFans content in my mother's attic. What are you talking about? What's wrong with that? Okay, can we actually fit in this station? Yes, this will be easier. <laughs> I 
I don't, people really act like OnlyFans is like a cheat code to money, though. Like, I haven't looked into OnlyFans a ton. I've looked into it probably more than the average person that doesn't use it. But, um... It's heavily saturated. Like, okay, there's very few things that are saturated with good content. But I feel like for OnlyFans, it's kind of... I feel like the wall to hit good content is not very high. Like, the wall to hit good content on YouTube, I don't know. Basically, yeah, I think a lot of people get into it, they're like, alright, this is my... I'm gonna resort to this, and then they make like $5 a month total. Uh, but I don't, contrary to popular belief, I don't know much about the financials of an OnlyFans page. What am I stuck on? I'm stuck on something. I think oversaturation is a meme, generally speaking. What am I stuck on? That's weird. I mean, I can back out, I guess. Yeah, there's nothing here. Yeah, I, I mean, there's very few things that are... Like, high risk, high reward, and low risk, low reward gen tend to be pretty accurate. Like, Uber is pretty low risk, low reward. And YouTube is... Well, okay, YouTube's not super high risk. It's just mostly real. I don't know. It's like medium risk, medium reward, I guess. I think OnlyFans is high risk, high reward. Cause like once people know that it's out there, it's it's out there. Like you're not gonna scrub the name of a once an OnlyFans model, especially once a failed OnlyFans model. Like that's got hurt. <laughs> I'm not admitting, don't worry. I'm just... <laughs> I do think it's an interesting topic though. But to be clear, I've never actually considered it, which is quite surprising because I consider many a thing to make money. Kind of what I do to before I do anything to make money is like my rule to myself is I have to tell my mom about this after I make the money. And if I feel shame telling her how I made this, then I shouldn't do it. Um, so like if I sell weird things or... I guess I feel bad if I make money kind of like... Um, not super genuinely, I guess. Like I've never broken any laws to make money. But say I mislead someone on a sale. <laughs> Uh, like on Craigslist, it's like, is the guilt can't be so high to where I can't tell my mom that I've misled someone on a Craigslist sale. <laughs> so, yes. In short, I would not be able to tell my mother that I'm selling nudes. <laughs> since people do their own say. I... I think... <laughs> trying to 
think wording without upsetting. I value dignity more than. Okay, I don't know. Dignity is a thing I care about, and I guess my values of dignity tend to be more traditional than others, which is fine. Um, I trade a decent amount of my. I trade a small amount of my dignity for money per YouTube, but not that much. Um, like, yes, I did wear the cat maid outfit because it was a good bit, and. I would say I lost some dignity there. <laughs> and I admitted to urinating in a shower on stream and getting on the floor. Like, yes, I still get reminded of that every week, and I'd say there was a dignity lost, but, you know. When you sold those... Wait, <laughs> when did I talk about scamming old people? <laughs> I didn't scam old people. <laughs> I was just, it, was, it wasn't scam. If they got the product they ordered. I, like what I, okay, I sell stuff to people without them realizing that they're being sold stuff. That's not scamming, that's just being good at advertising in my humble opinion. Um, like on the YouTube, on YouTube you have to be transparent that you're selling something. I legally have to say I'm selling you this, not I'm convincing you that you want it and you're offering me money. Like that's awful. <laughs> Okay, I do remember, one time my grandma, this was years ago, my grandma said that I was, she said, don't you feel bad scamming people? And I was like, what are you talking about? And she said that my margins were so astronomically high that I was essentially scamming people. I, because I was selling, po I used to sell posters, and maybe you purchase one. The posters were $30 per post, it was $30 for a poster. You got the poster, it was $30. Um, my margins were not... <laughs> My margins were 99%, but that's not scamming someone. <laughs> it's just selling a post. It was 30 cents to produce. I sold it for $30. She said that was a scam. And I guess it still hurt, it hurt in my feelings, I guess. I don't know. The bike and booms were just, I, I was um, doing Amazon FBA and I would pretend to be a customer of the product and convince old people to buy it. I I didn't disguise... <laughs> okay, I actually forgot about that part. The only scam was I wasn't actually 55. I pretended to be 55. That was it. That was the only misleading part. And also, the <laughs> I don't know why I'm being so defensive over this. Uh, this is my grandma that I... My mom's mom. I don't know. The grandma in the video. <laughs> I don't scam old people. No, I really didn't make that much. It was mostly just out of curiosity for how FBA works. And it works! I think FBA comes, which is, FBA is fulfillment by Amazon. It's when you have a product and you send it to Amazon, and then it's like available on Amazon Prime, and then you get a cut of the money when it sells. Uh, but it's your job to promote it for the most part. Um, And FBA is, comes off as a scam because there's people that sell courses on how to sell on FBA. And you don't really need a course for it. Just Google how to do it. And it's just boring. <laughs> I've never... Do not, I did not tell anyone to not redeem any gift cards. I've never sold gift cards. I, I have sold gift cards, but I, I legally sold gift cards, okay? <laughs> they were legally acquired and legally sold. See you, Jasmine. Um. Yes, I prefer. It it feels good making the Uber money because it's like feels more useful. It's like oh, I got someone from their house to their work. I would do something useful today versus like oh, I uploaded a video where I scroll through Reddit. <laughs> It's quite pure, and it just, it's like the cleanest money you can possibly make, I guess. But no, it's actually really fun to um, see what makes more and less Uber money, like what conversation topics make people tip more. Um, 
if you can make the driver if you can make the rider feel guilty they actually do tip you more like <laughs> i don't know <laughs> it's interesting to see I am waitlisted on Spark. I got accepted to shift last month and the orders are terrible, like the offers are really bad. But Amazon Prime Day number two of the year is coming up in a couple days, so I've already got some scheduled deliveries. Seven hours, no, seven and a half hours, I'll make $240 or something. I used to never initiate conversation i actually have started to because yeah if you initiate people actually tip you better and i can tell if they don't want to talk but now i actually do initiate with every passenger which i never thought i'd say that but yeah very few people tip if you don't talk to them almost everyone tips if you have a deep conversation with them not even deep just a more than how's the weather conversation well i just accidentally guilted a guy by talking about like how my YouTube, because I talk about YouTube and I was talking about like how it's gone up and down and stuff, and he genuinely just felt bad and he gave me twenty dollars. <laughs> um, and so I have started to use it a little bit with people ask. I, I have a way to work people into asking me. I guess it's just about making it feel like they brought it up, so that they can't be like, "Why did he bring that up?" Like they always have to bring it up, but it's pretty simple. And then they feel good about themselves. They're like, oh, I helped I helped the starving artist. <laughs> oh, is it dark now? It is. But I've never made up a story. It could be a fun way, I guess, to practice storytelling. Just make up random stories. to drive away from prostitutes the creepy trailer <laughs> uh, I have not gotten any more press I've gotten a couple prostitutes but like they're all nice um, and just delivering them to their location I should add I did not hire the prostitutes um, but no I mostly do college campuses because they're all like about my age or younger and they're all easy the thing is like I'll talk to the older passengers and they're like so do you always Uber I'm like yeah I Uber around the colleges god damn it 21 over um and they're like oh no that must be terrible they must be such mean people and they must vomit and be obnoxious but no actually it's only the older people that i don't like ukraine all the college students are super nice and chill so yeah i uber usually like six to six i start around the evening and then end in the morning so like i'll end around two to four a.m usually because there's fewer Ubers and you make more. <clears throat> um, I have never talked about the Discord server with passengers. I have given, people have asked for my Discord and vice versa. So I've, yeah, I've added a couple people, but we haven't actually said anything. <laughs> actually, yeah, one guy, he wanted to, he wants to start an anime channel. And he's, he's like, okay, he was about my age. He seemed super into it, seemed pretty motivated. I get his Discord, we like we add each other. And then he never actually starts it, so we'll see. Ask me about my failing YouTube career. <laughs> my video is fine. The worst, I try to avoid telling people the channel until like they leave. Because they start playing the video in the back of the car. Especially like if an Uber video pops up. <laughs> it's so weird. What happened to the guy with the cane? I don't know. He got out of the car eventually, and I never saw him again. I actually blocked him as a rider, so I won't get him again. The key is... This sounds... This sounds bad, but I 
don't take rides under half a mile because okay i shouldn't say that because you you'll get disabled people which need to get places because it's like okay most people will just walk half a mile but if they're disabled they'll uber half a mile but they're just consistently not good passengers to have like they damage the car more they're less respectful they take longer they don't to would not recommend disabled passengers <laughs> Copper in my record. I have two DUIs. L. Quest 3 leaks saying they're going to overnight all the pre orders. Wait. Oh. They overnight them to avoid people getting them early? Is it really worth all that extra money? I mean, I guess they just don't care about the revenue from the quest. Like, Zuck himself, I guess he just cares about the long... I, I like his long-term plan. Zuck is growing on me. Um, yeah. I see it. It makes sense, I guess. That's funny. I wonder if they... No. They'll probably hire FedEx or something, right? They're not going to distribute it themselves, right? Like, Zuck just driving with a bunch of quests. So what's the, do you know the refresh rate on the Quest 3? Because the Quest 1 is 72 hertz, I believe. Because I saw one thing saying 120, but another saying 90. Because like the games won't support 120 yet or something. Oh, I should probably sleep. Ah, oh, too late. Is it really overpriced? I mean, I did think the quests would get cheaper. I'm actually glad it's more expensive, like, because the quest two, it was cheaper materials than the one, right? Like the head headband and stuff. <clears throat> oh, 90 with experimental 120. Okay. Um, I forgot what I was saying. What was I just saying? Oh, the materials. I was like, okay, because the quest, because I paid 400 for the one, and then the two was like 300, but now it's 500. So I'm actually glad it's gone up, because hopefully that means that it's getting better and not just cheaper, right? <clears throat> Background actor for Disney. That's cool. I would love to be one of the stunt drivers. I don't know if they still do that in Hollywood Studios, but one of the Disney stunt drivers. I want to take my car on track so bad, man. Maybe next summer. Are there winter track events? Has it been four hours? I thought it's only been three. I will stop at four, though. Why is everyone here? What's wrong with my addict? Oh yeah, I'll give a quick addict tour, everyone. Addict tour, woo! Um, I can't touch the camera or else it'll disconnect, but we got my bed, we got the curtain, and I painted it white. And I got new sheets, I got black sheets. We, we're living like Larry up here. Uh, yes, I still have the cuck chair. I might bring it to the attic. We'll see. The loft. I'll call it the loft. It's not really. It's There's a staircase. It's a loft, not an attic. Oh, I've, uh, it'll be easy to move everything, right, for my other account. 
<clears throat> I forgot about gravity sketch. I really like gravity sketch. Wait, so what time is it? Let me see. Where's my Samsung wallet? Oh, 7.30. When did I start? 4? Okay, so yeah, I've got 30 minutes. We're good on time. Uh, this will be my last delivery. I'll do a little chat and then we can wrap it up in like 15 minutes. <clears throat> hey, queen. What? No, I still have my cats. I still want to get another kitten. Haven't yet. Most genuinely, just actually to save money and time. Minimalizing my... Oh, this is the same loading area as before. <laughs> Bro spent all his money on that trash Subaru. I love my little Subaru, but sometimes I, reg I... I don't regret it. It's just... I've only driven it like 3,000, maybe 4,000 miles in the two years I've had it almost. Like year and a half. Just because it's been broken so much of the time. But it's the most fun 4,000 miles I've ever traveled in a car. Oh yeah, the Tesla passed 100,000 miles. It just, it's at 101,000 miles now, and it's still kicking. Ah. <clears throat> How you show all the skills, you know, like wrapping cars, etc. And you're still back with mommy. Yes, I have not gotten any wrap clients yet. <laughs> it's a very sad day in her land. Uh, no, I, I think I'll wrap the Subaru and then I'll... If I... I okay, I'm going to see how fast I can wrap the Subaru well. And that'll give me the confidence to take on a client. <clears throat> I would wait... It's just my opinion. Okay, I don't like when people like say, oh, I would wait for blank, but I would wait to buy a Model 3. Because if you look up the Model 3 Highland, I think it's called, they've released a new Model 3 for next year outside of the United States. I don't know if you're in the US or not. But it's very much improved over the current Model 3. So I would say wait and see if it comes out in the US soon. Um... Yeah. I don't know how to back into this. I already did this, but... Okay, hold on. Oh yeah, look at this precision. Oh, my mirror's gonna hit. If you're having trouble attaching the trailer, adjusting the suspension might help. I didn't actually know that. Hard left. Wait, no, not hard left. I'm trying to just get back to the entrance real quick. Oh, you don't like the Highland. Highland. I love it. Um, I don't think the stocks are a big deal, but to each his own, I guess. Like in the Subaru, I love all the clicky buttons in the Subaru, and I love all the and the and the click clack and the little too. But um, I think it's cool without the stocks. At least it's not a yoke. Uh, okay, I love you. I think yokes are very cool when they're done correctly, like the way. Lexus did the yoke, and I'm not gonna go into an another yoke conversation because I just realized last time I trade Euro played Euro Truck Simulator, I talked about yokes for like 20 minutes. <laughs> but <laughs> long story short, Tesla did the yoke badly compared to Lexus. Um, although Lexus is a steer by wire, which I don't know if I like. But um, anyway, at least it's not a yoke.
Wow, this is embarrassing. All of my dignity is truck right now. Just... Out the window. So how's the stream connection been? Okay. We got it, boys. Maybe. Hey, yo. Oh. <laughs> Close enough. Yoke? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, no, I'm saying Y-O-K-E. Yoke. <laughs> Although, I guess it's also I say egg yolk. It's still red on my end, so I don't know. I don't know, man. We've dropped 150,000 frames during this stream. And this stream's 30 frames per second, so that's a lot of frames. Woo! Ooh, I get to upgrade again. Come in my email. It still says unread. Bank reveal. $100,000. Look at that. It's gonna manifest this to be real life. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm so glad I spent four hours before my four hour shift driving before I go drive. <laughs> my fear was driving for work would ruin my joy for driving, but luckily I can separate it. I will admit, I get bored of driving the Tesla since I drive it all day. But it's like, then I go get in the other car and it's like a totally different experience, which is nice. Ugh. Oh, I forgot to update the member count, didn't I? I think we got two members. Oh, it's not even, oh, it does on screen. Boom. Two, zero, six, and boom. Yeah, I guess I'll change the goal to five, Hundy, and that can be our special stream. Boom. Uh, yeah, I would say uh, not the worst comeback stream. It was just bad because of the connection, I guess, but um, I do think the title definitely helped. <laughs> helped us get that boost of uh, 250 people at the start, which is cool. Oh, three new members. Look at that. Two oh seven. Um. <laughs> no, if I had that kind of money, the Subaru would be in perfect condition. It would have nice tinted, not uh, nice uh, frosted taillights, nice gray taillights. Um. If I had a hundred grand right now, I would. Uh, yeah, pay off all most of the debt, most of the high end. I'd pay off the high interest debt. Rebuild an emergency fund. Yeah, I would just fix the Subaru. I think that's about it. I actually wouldn't do that much with the money. I mean, I would invest it, I guess, but yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, good stream, everyone. Thank you for joining. I think I'll see you tomorrow for a stream. Same time tomorrow. Boo. Babe. Which was 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Wait, tomorrow's... M yes, it's Monday. Yes. Okay, I'll stream tomorrow at 4. So, see you then. Goodbye. Thank you for super chat as well. <laughs>